Hey, hey, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. So today I wanted to talk about 3D carving, um, particularly in carving maps. So something from, we'll say, you know, Google Earth or something like that. Um, I did a little digging around on the internet. I found some pretty good videos on YouTube that really helped me be able to understand how I could get done what I wanted to do. So um, today's video, I'm just going to show you uh, if you're into 3D carving and you might be interested in carving, you know, maybe your hometown or something like that. I just wanted to show you how to do that. So if you go to Google and t type in uh, touch terrain, so we're going to click on that. All right, this site was designed, uh, if you do like 3D printing, this site was designed for that, so you can use it for that as well. Uh, it seems to always open in the same place. So what we're going to do is we can either zoom out, take a look at the Earth, or we can uh, type a place in. So um, I'm going to type in uh, Bend, Oregon. I like that beautiful area. And I'm just going to take a look over there because I know there's lots of mountains. And particularly uh, the sister mountains, which are right here, right? So you have... Uh, where are they at? You got north and south, and then you got Broken Top here, right? And you got Mount Bachelor over here. So we're just going to take a look at this area right here. All right, so we got the Three Sisters Mountains. You got Broken Top right there. Um, first thing you want to do is over here where it says Transparency, turn it all the way down, okay? Give it a more black and white. And on the nozzle diameter, change that to 0.2. All right, should make it a little bit sharper. And then you're going to click this box here that says Recenter Box on Map. And then it gives us a reference point. So we can resize this however we feel is necessary. Now, just trying to get the bottom of the mountain. All right, once you have the area that you are um, happy with, if you click on where it says Export Select in Area and Download File, it's going to take you to the screen. All right, I'm not going to be carving anything on my CNC today. This is strictly just, just a weekly educational video from my channel. Um, I do plan on carving this actual file, though. So, um, be another video at another time. So you can download the zip file here. It tells you the size of it, and you can also preview it. So I just want to preview it so we can take a look and see what it looks like. So now we've got a preview of that. kind of looks funny, but if we turn it, we can see better shot of it right so we can really look at that it does a really good job of capturing that right so I'm, I'm going to end up carving this out of a piece of mahogany that I have um, just got to play with the file a little bit in Aspire to set up the roughing and the finish pass and getting the, uh, the thickness of it correct so it's, I mean, it's really cool. This website's awesome. I tried to do this with some of the really tall mountains like Mount Everest, and uh, I don't know if there's settings you have to play with, but it usually gives me an error that the, the file's too tall. So there's most likely a setting that it can be adjusted. But I thought this was really cool. So if you're into 3D, you're into, you know, the plains and mountains and all that good stuff, this site's really, really nice, works really well, and uh, I have loaded this into Aspire and looked at it, and it um, looks really clean. 
So for this one, uh, most likely if I carved this, I'd be doing a roughing pass with like a quarter inch bit so I can clear a lot out at once. And then I would either do a finishing pass with a tapered ball nose or just a one eighth ball nose. Um, obviously the tapered ball nose is gonna take forever, but it'll be super detailed. You won't really need to sand it when you're done. But uh, that's today's video. Hope you found it helpful. I'll put a link to that touch terrain in the description. And uh, thanks for watching. And if you're not subscribed, help me out. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Uh, all, everybody knows that I uh, read all my comments and I like to respond. All right. Thanks. Have a great day. Enjoy the weather.